Ladies and gentlemen, there is no other way to control spending when you have a radical leftist as president than the power of the purse. That's common sense. There's no other way to attempt to control a lawless president, a lawless president who brazenly is violating the Constitution of the United States than the power of the purse if you're not going to impeach him. When you have the incoming Senate Majority Leader, a Republican, and one of the new Republicans from Colorado, Cory Gardner, mocking those who talk about the power of the purse, mocking those who seek ways to control this president, when the country's going to hell, when the economy's going to hell, when debt is going through the roof, when this man is trying to change the country, fundamentally transform it, opening the borders wide open, millions of people getting legalization. I want to remind you, when that happens, what the hell do you think's going to happen on the border the day after that? A man who uses the executive branch to rewrite our marriage laws. A man who uses the executive branch to attack industries and rewrite our clean air and clean water laws. A man who has used the executive branch to rewrite our sentencing guidelines. A man who has nothing but contempt for the Constitution and the other branches of government. I ask Mitch McConnell and Cory Gardner, and I ask all of these people, what the hell are you going to do about it? They're not going to do anything about it. They're not going to use the power of the purse. They weren't even burned last time when they were led by courageous Ted Cruz and Mike Lee and courageous certain House members. Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, 41 once, Bill Clinton, all used. Either the power of the purse or fought the power of the purse through the government shutdown process. It's not ideal, but it's all we have when dealing with a radical, out-of-control president who's pulling this country down day in and day out and fundamentally altering our constitutional system. Every example I just gave to you doesn't even come close to the circumstances we face today. They use the power of the purse for a host of reasons that I just read to you. Do you think these same people would use the power of the purse to try and keep an imperial president under control? You bet they would. I can only conclude two things. The Republicans who are in power today support amnesty because their benefactors support amnesty, That is, the big industrialists and the corporatists, the casino magnets, the media magnets, the Home Depot magnets, you name them. And they want cheap labor and they want a lot of it. The hell with America, the hell with the citizenry, the hell with the rule of law. And these are the men and these are the industries that fund their campaigns and give them their power. That's number one. Number two, when it comes to Obamacare, I think it's quite clear now that the Republicans embrace the vast majority of it. They want to deliver the reversal of the medical equipment tax, the medical device tax, because that is a big issue with lobbyists. It has almost zero effect on you. 